My name is Olof Olsson. I grew up in Sweden during the Cold War. A hundred years ago, Sweden had a massive drinking problem. And the solution to that problem was to introduce state control over the sales of alcohol. After the First World War, Swedes could only buy alcohol from state stores. Systembolaget, the system company. So, Systembolaget should sell alcohol, but preferably not too much. And Systembolaget even had campaigns against drinking alcohol. Spola kröken. In Denmark, anyone can buy booze anywhere at any time, as much as he or she wants. In Denmark, this has been considered a human right for as long as anyone in Denmark can remember. In 1925, a new invention came to Denmark, radio. But the Danish state was a bit worried about this new invention and how it could affect the Danish people. So the Danish state decided that there should only be state radio in Denmark. Because if any Dane could start a radio station, the Danish sound waves might be filled with American jazz music. And the Danish state didn't want that. But once in a while, the Danish state radio would play some jazz. Because after all, the Danish state radio was the radio for all Danes. Even the Danes that liked jazz. In 1958, this uh, young man in the middle of this picture, Per Janssen, he got an idea. If he put a ship just outside Denmark on international waters, he could put a transmitter on that ship and broadcast jazz music to the Danes. <coughs> to the Danes. Without the Danish state being able to interfere. This was the birth of Radio Mercur, which was named after the Roman messenger god Mercury. And Radio Mercur played jazz. And Radio Mercur even played rock and roll. But the Danish politicians changed the law and got Radio Mercur stopped. And instead they created P3, a state channel for popular music. So just like Sweden, who's got alcohol under state control. In 1963, Denmark got jazz and rock and roll under state control. <laughs>